Oh my goodness, everyone. <laughs> this is absolutely crazy. So there's this hippo out now. Looks like it's about to go and chase the hyenas. And out the corner of my eye, I've seen... It looks like those dogs again. I wonder if those dogs made the kill and the hyenas have come and stolen it from it. Good morning to all the viewers and subscribers and welcome back to the virtual safari. I have received a bit of an update that there could be wild dogs um, nearby in the area so I'm going to head over there I can only see three here Could only see three here, could potentially be the Mbali pack Great to have them back in the area, we haven't seen them for quite a while. Looks like they're getting active. Two heading down the road. Here comes a hyena walking through the frame. I've actually lost visual of those dogs now. It's been super, super difficult trying to follow them through this massive block. So I'm going to go see if I can relocate them on the other side. But if not, we'll continue our search for the Nauru Pride. Here's the second hyena. And what it seems like is they're just following the dogs, waiting for them to make a kill. And then go steal off of it. Right, so it seems as though that I've lost contact with these dogs. They've, it's absolutely incredible how fast they move. Even through thick bush, I uh, definitely couldn't stay up with them. And then we got that last glimpse of the hyena. And I just thought maybe I'll come drive this road to come and check. Maybe they pass through here. But as you can see, I have a bit of a roadblock. And I wonder what if you can guess what it is. Yeah, but it's this very big elephant bull, and maybe when he moves, we'll be able to see his tusks, and those are quite impressive. You don't often get to see an elephant with tusks like that very often. Here's quite an old bull this, you can see all those cuts in his ears over the years of running through the vegetation, branches hooking on it and ripping little pieces off. Oh, so he, I thought he was going to push over that tree for a second there but he just casually moved it out of the way so he can get some other bits and pieces. It looks like he's going back again. So what he's actually doing there is digging up a bit of the ground with his foot and he's actually trying to get to some roots. We know that in the winter time a lot of the trees and plant species will bring their nutrients from the leaves, they'll drop the leaves and bring all the nutrients and st store it in the roots. Elephants know this so he's just digging them up, breaking off some roots and then Chewing on those. Just deciding to walk down the road now. Might spend some time with this Ellie boy. He's so impressive and super relaxed.
But I'm gonna end up leaving this guy and continue on the game drive. Special to spend some time with the elephant like that. Just passing through Ingwe Manzi and there's this hippo over here that usually goes between here and Wild Dog Dam and in the exact direction where he's facing are three hyenas and they're a bit far apart so it's hard to get them in the same frame so here are the three hyenas busy sleeping out in the bush and seems like this hippo is not too happy with them being around you could hear it snorting in the water there. Oh look at that, look at that! Hyenas have a carcass here. I don't know what that was, it looked like maybe an impala. Oh my goodness everyone, <laughs> this is absolutely crazy. So there's this hippo out now. Looks like it's about to go and chase the hyenas. And out the corner of my eye, I've seen... It looks like those dogs again. I wonder if those dogs made the kill and the hyenas have come and stolen it from it. But I'm going to head over there, the dogs are just lying down in the shade now. But I just want to watch and see what happens with this hippo. And this is definitely the reason why this hippo is not happy. Obviously the dogs have come and made a kill. These hyenas spotted the opportunity to come and steal it. And it was happening all around the water here and this hippo was having none of it. I'm having just a bit of a standoff now.
that hyena keeping a very watchful eye on the hippo. Still having a standoff. Looks like the hippo is starting to move. Hippo decides no, he's heading back into the water. And down he goes. Oh, that hyena looks like it has a bit of a limp there. Maybe it got bit by the dogs during the altercation might go for a swim now just to try cool off you can see out the corner of my eye the sippo is watching this hyena very closely Here's the third hyena coming from the back. I don't know if you can hear in the background there, but it sounds like some Impala's alarm calling. I wonder if... Oh, I can see them. Maybe they're going to come down for a drink, but I don't think that it might be a good idea. But where that hyena is walking to now is where I saw a dog. So I'm going to head over there, see if I can film the dogs a little bit, and then maybe come back to these hyenas. So just beyond that dead log there, you might be able to see some ears flicking and tails flicking. I don't want to go too close to the dogs just because if those impala keep coming in this direction, I don't want to give their cover away for the dogs. I want it to be equal for both animals. But I doubt. Wow, absolute stunning animals. Doesn't look like the Impala are heading in this direction anymore. And this one here, having a particularly dark coat on him. But I keep saying it, they're very, very beautiful animals, each having their own ind individual shapes and patterns and coloration and they're just lying down in the shade now
All of this food inside their tummies might be from a previous kill. But they do work very hard, these dogs. And I mean, they're only lying away probably about 40 meters from that carcass and probably about 10, 15 from a hyena. Those other two hyenas are by that carcass. There are even some vultures starting to appear now. Seems like they have caught on to this kill as well. But now that I can see this kill properly, I can confirm it is an impala. So here's a dog coming down with two hyenas, the dog's just behind this bush. And see if it uh, still keeps coming. There it is there. The kill's just in front of it. Okay, well the two hyenas have come back to the kill and now the dog is walking back to where it came from. Hippo is still out the water. I think he saw all the movement and decided to come back for round two. They're still just standing there. Almost looks frozen. The other one's not willing to share its meal, came and chased it off. Alright, so this is where I'm going to bring this virtual safari to an end. What an incredible day we've had. Um, it started off really, really slow in the morning. I thought I was actually going to end game drive quite um, early. You know, not much happening out there, so I head back to the lodge. But then, out of nowhere, we came across those dogs and hyena again. Um, on the way back to the lodge, actually, and then sat there for a good couple of hours and it was great to have that interaction with the hippo and the hyenas and the dogs which was just an amazing um, sighting one that we definitely don't get um, too often so hopefully we keep getting these great sightings and we'll see you all on the next virtual safari